Morning everyone, so it's time for another video. Uh, what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to do three or four videos. Um, it's going to be 40 gate specific and I'm going to demonstrate how to configure and use various security profiles effectively. So this video is going to be about application control. Then I'm going to do one about web filtering, then I'm going to do one about IPS, and then I'm going to do one about antivirus. Uh, the final video, I'm probably going to do um, something around uh, the difference between certificate-based inspection and deep packet or full SSL man in the middle based inspection, because that is just super important. So for this video, the focus is going to be application control, so you might ask, what is application control? So if you go to security profiles and then application control, you do need a, a, a 40 guard subscription with the application control database. So it's, it's regularly updated. Um, but if you, have, you might be asking yourselves, well, what is it? So if you think about a packet going through a firewall, um, if you look at the OSI model, you've got layer seven, which is the, the application layer. Um, the the 40 gate firewall itself is aware and can see into packets at layer seven. So the example that I might give is if you think about remote, de remote desktop uses port 3389, um, well, somebody could develop an application that tunnels through 3389, therefore legacy non-layer 7 aware devices, you could effectively proxy through a, a, a non-secure firewall policy to get essentially get out using 3389. Application control is, is going to put a stop to this. So Fortinet themselves develop um, an application database. They update it a couple of times every day um, and they enable you to configure predefined filters that match those application signatures. So if I show you here, view application signatures, at the time of recording this video, there is 4,241 application signatures developed um, which is quite substantial all the the known ones will be in there so we're going to do it we're going to do a youtube block here you can see that there's 15 for youtube there's spotify is in there connect wise is uh, connect wise is one that our customers use wise quite frequently see connect wise is in there team viewer another common one uh, a very common one is Tor. Tor, yeah, Tor. There's another one. This one here, uh, very, very common for, for people trying to proxy out of um, school environments, that kind of thing. So it gives you an idea. There's, there's lots of signatures that you can match. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is that you can simply match based on a category. So I can simply say, uh, I want to block all social media uh, sites. Now there's 108, there's 118 class, uh, applications in there and 30 cloud applications. Um, but what we're not, we're gonna, not gonna do that in this video. We're gonna make it a little bit more granular than that. We're actually gonna define an application control based on YouTube because I can actually demonstrate the blocking for YouTube. So let's do that. Okay, so um, if you're already using application control, you can obviously apply it to an existing um, security profile. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a new one. So as you can see, I've created a uh, block YouTube. Um, I would suggest that best practice would be to still monitor all applications that are, are potentially getting matched via this firewall policy. Monitoring just simply monitors them. It doesn't um, block them um, or anything like that. So it gives you good visibility around what's going through um, 
this uh, this profile. Um, definitely something worth mentioning because it catches so many people out is for the more granular um, application control profiles, you do need to do full SSL man in the middle or deep packet inspection. That means that a certificate needs to be installed on the client itself. So essentially the FortiGate firewall um, has a session between yourself and the client. It then term when, when the packet ar arrives at the gate, it terminates the session using the SSL certificate that's installed on the client. And then it sets up a new session between the FortiGate firewall and the end destination. So let's say in this case, YouTube. Um, so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna do an application control filter override. We're gonna make sure that it's sat, set to block. I'm gonna go for YouTube. Um, now, as you can see, and this is definitely a top tip, if it has the lock next to it, when you're searching things like this, that means that full SSL man in the middle or deep packet inspection is required. You can see here, requires deep inspection. So the ones that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna select them all, I'm gonna do the ability, I'm gonna stop the ability to play a video. So it's this one, embedded, info, play, and I'm gonna add those to the, and I'm gonna click that, and you see that they pop here. I'm going to click OK. Now we've got our policy. Now I'm going to go to Firewall Policy and Objects. And you can see that I've already readily created a policy that's disabled. So what we're going to do here now is before this policy is enabled, I am coming from Chris Normal PC. So you will see that it's got deep packet inspection enabled on the policy. Um, it's got um, application control default enabled on it, which is just simply to monitor the applications that are going through that firewall policy. There's no blocking in place at all. And if I bring up um, a, a separate browser um, and play a video, you can see that this is my... Um, intro VLAN blocking video, you can see that it's playing absolutely fine without any issue at all. So I'm just gonna copy that URL and I'm gonna stop that video. Now I'm gonna go back to the firewall policy. I'm gonna um, set the status to enable. So therefore I should now start getting matched um, against that policy. Um, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to open up another uh, Cognito browser and I'm going to try and play the video and instantly, as you can see, um, I am blocked via the application control. I cannot play the video at all. But this is just a 40 view um, entry from what's going through my environment. So within my home environment, um, I don't really apply that um, much application control blocking. Um, I do limit um, YouTube for, for, for my three-year-old, that kind of thing. Um, but most of the time, I just monitor uh, the tra have the traffic monitored in monitor mode so I can see the applications that are actually going through the appliance. So that uh, brings this video around application control to uh, an end. Um, as I said at the start of the video, the, the intent for this week is to develop a couple of videos around the next generation firewall features found on a 40 gate um, appliance. So that would be uh, application control, web filtering, antivirus, um, IPS, um, and some, maybe we'll do file filter as well because I think that can be quite useful. Um, so if you like the video, please um, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you let me know what sort of content you would like to see, so uh, in the comments, and if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.